All right, guys, welcome to another little tip and trick video here at Adelaide RV. Today, I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on what people are talking about or referring to when they talk about a dual battery system or a, a second battery system. Now, what that generally refers to is something in your car or vehicle that allows you to power other accessories externally from your caravan. So in my instance, I've got the mother of all power setups in this truck because it powers two fridges, I've got a big 3000 watt inverter, solar panel on the roof and all that sort of stuff and allows me to plug into the, into the caravan where I can run my aircon, microwave, I can see I'm about to use the blender here for a smoothie for my daughter, air fryers and the like. But there's a quick few things you need to know and a few little bits of gear you need to consider when you are looking at a dual battery system. The first one is obviously batteries. Okay, there's obviously a wide range of batteries. Luckily we have Luke from Performance Auto Electrical. Juki has actually done all of my stuff here at Performance Auto, Auto Electrical. So he is the man to enable you to get all this sort of started. So batteries, number one, obviously you need some sort of power source. Number two, you're gonna need obviously a, a way to charge those batteries up. So obviously the first option which we all know about is solar. Okay, I've got a solar panel mounted on the truck with a smart solar controller. So obviously keep that in mind as well. The third one is you might want to consider what they call a DC to DC charger. They come stock standard in our caravans, our leader and supreme caravans, um, but you also might want to consider one for your tow vehicle if you are running a second auxiliary or dual battery system setup. That'll trick your smart alternator in your vehicle to derive power from your alternator and also charge up your batteries when you're driving. So then there's size of the DC to DC. You can get different DC to DCs anywhere from 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 amps, so on and so forth, and you can run them concurrently. So also keep in mind how big your battery bank is and how much you want to run off it. Then you'll need to know, or then you'll have a better idea of how much charge you need to bring back into those batteries. The third and final one, if you want to power accessories like the blender, like the air fryer, like using your air, your air con in your van off this big battery bank, then you're going to need what's called an inverter. They come in a variety of sizes, anywhere from 150, 300, 600, all the way up to 3,000 watt inverters. Your 3,000 watt inverter like I have in this system will power absolutely anything you can imagine. But that's a little rundown on 12 volt or a dual battery or auxiliary battery system. I hope you guys have found that helpful. Don't forget to put a comment below if you're running a 12 volt system of your own or let us know what your dream system looks like and follow our socials at Adelaide RV for more.